Hi, my name is Dan Rene, and I'm a software architect for Atlona. In this video, let's go over the integration of the Velocity Control Platform with the QSYS Platform. To start, we're going to go over briefly the few controls that we can integrate uh, with the Velocity Control Platform using the QSYS Designer software. Here we have the QSYS Designer software opened in Windows. And I'm going to start with controlling a line out block and a microphone block. So let's go in and see how we can integrate with these controls. So we drag them over and we can double click on line out. And the way QSYS works to control through their API is through named controls. These name controls we drag over into this uh, area here to control by a, a unique identifier. So we want to control the gain for a line out. We also want to control the mute status. So we did, we're going to control that for channel 1. And I think that's good enough for now to show and demonstrate. And let's double click on the line out. And let's grab the gain for a microphone, the mute, and the invert for a particular channel. And again, this is a very brief overview of the controls that we're integrating with the Velocity Control Platform. I highly recommend you visit training.qsc.com for a more comprehensive overview of the software. So once we've done this, we can go now and emulate a QSYS platform by clicking on File Emulate. So now we can control um, this software through the API. But before we do that, let's take our named controls and let's extract those named controls into an XML file. So it looks like I already have one there, so let's just go ahead and overhead and go ahead and overwrite that file. Save, replace. Great. Now for this video, I, I pre-set up a room with a single monitor and uh, named it the QSYS platform. So let's go ahead and add the QSYS platform. Let's type in QSC and hit enter. And I have this, I'm going to have this running emulated on my Windows machine. <clears throat> Oops, don't need that. And we'll click save there. Now as we see, we're trying to connect. Um, so let's go ahead and start the emulator. All right, great, we're connected. Now what we want to do is we want to import those controls. So let's do that. That was under external controls. Hit open. All right, great. We see we've got a line, a channel one gain for the line out, the mute, which is a Boolean, and the microphones as well. So let's hit save. Once we do that, now we can actually start controlling these lines directly from the emulator. So let's go back and let's see if we're at negative 65 decibels here on line out. There we see negative 65 decibels. And let's mute that line. And we're muted. And again, we can control the microphones as well. Let's go down to 87 and let's mute and invert the microphone. Close that out. And inverted, muted, negative 87. Great. So the next task we need to do to showcase um, the integration with the actual control screen is to now assign it to a velocity control. So here we have a drop down. We want to set the line out channel one to master volume. 
The same thing goes, we want to set the master volume mute. And let's actually control a microphone as well. And we'll set all three of these. Hit save. Okay, let's launch the control screen. Now we see here we have our master volume. We just increase that to negative 17. We can go back here, and there we are, negative 17. And of course we can mute and unmute. And then we can open up a drawer for the microphones. Okay. And there's also another advanced feature if we go into um, the room. We can actually add um, <clears throat> a few more things. Instead of controlling microphones, let's assume that these were other line levels, so other outputs that we wanted to control. So we can also choose output gain and output mute as well. And let's just delete this one for now. And again, we're just simulating what this would be. So instead of a, a microphone icon, you'll get an audio icon. So now we can just control a different gain. Now these labels can also be changed as well by going to the room control options. And we can go down to all the way down here to room controls. And let's just say we want to change it to, let's say, line out to. Uh, let's do it on the actual gain. Yeah, we'll say it's line out one. And you really only need to change one of these. All right, let's go to here. And we'll just click refresh here. And there's line out one. And that is how we integrate the Velocity Control Platform with the QSYS platform. If you have any further questions, please visit us at atlona.com.